the Megalodon shark is one of the most mysterious and elusive prehistoric animals in the world. At an estimated length of 45 to 60 feet long, it also happens to be the largest prehistoric shark to ever have existed, and one of the most powerful predators on Earth. In fact, due to its large size, this shark was given the name Megalodon, which in translation means Big Tooth. The massive 7 inch teeth that have been recovered from the now extinct Megalodon can be observed in various museums and aquariums as a true testament to this animal's ginormous size. Through archaeological findings and research, it's believed that the Megalodon became extinct somewhere around 1.5 million years ago for unknown reasons. In order to generate these extinction estimates, researchers have studied the fossil records of these enormous sharks. Using state-of-the-art technology and fossil reading techniques to estimate the age of the fossil bones that have been identified such as megalodon teeth and backbone. The widespread distribution of megalodon fossils, in particular teeth, suggests that it was a species that inhabited a wide range of marine environments, preferring warm and shallower waters. The beginning of life on this planet when it comes to animals is believed to have started in and around the Earth's oceans. In fact, over 70% of the world today is covered in water. And despite advances in technology and our understanding of the ocean, countless oceanic animals still remain hidden and undiscovered. Although simple cells and bacteria have been on this earth much longer than animal life, it's believed that fish began inhabiting the earth's oceans around 500 million years ago. During these early years of animal life, the ocean was inhabited by fish, squid, sea animals and predatory sharks, that continued to grow in size and eventually became quite enormous. As evolution continued to evolve, so did the world's predators, and eventually animals such as the Megalodon began dominating the food chain. The earliest records of the Megalodon have been calculated to between 25 and 28 million years old, giving this large predatory shark a fairly long uninterrupted existence on this planet. Because the Megalodon became extinct around 1.5 million years and their bones have largely decayed over many years, it's proven somewhat difficult for researchers to truly identify the appearance and behaviour of the Megalodon. Therefore, it's only possible to theorise what the Megalodon truly looked like, as well as how it hunted. Using technology and our understanding of shark anatomy, researchers and scientists have put together numerous theories and models for how Megalodon lived, hunted, survived and thrived in the ocean. Just like the sharks of today, these sharks were comprised mainly of cartilage, so even though these sharks were immense, the majority of their bodies were not fossilised. Cartilage usually disintegrates too fast for the fossilisation process to occur. Therefore, there are still many factors of the Megalodon that we are unsure of. Luckily, teeth have been found and investigated. Because of this, paleontologists have managed to uncover quite a few facts about these amazing creatures. And although specific details are still debated, there's a few things that most are definitely in agreement on. For starters, the Megalodon had 3 metre long jaws that were layered with rows of triangular serrated teeth that can measure up to 7 inches long. These fossil teeth are rare and may be found in warm coastal waters or embedded in various rock formations where they have been fossilised. Even today, the Megalodon's massive shark teeth are one of the largest teeth of any known animal, rivaled today by only a few animals with extremely long tusks. When it comes to the Megalodon, the combination of large sharp triangular teeth combined with immense jaw strength made these aquatic animals one of the most fearsome predators to have ever inhabited the ocean. Given the fact that these large sharp teeth were so big and dangerous, researchers believe that these teeth were used to hunt some of the largest living oceanic animals of its time, such as large prehistoric whales. In addition to observing and studying the Megalodon's teeth, Researchers have also looked at teeth scars from the bones of potential animals they hunted in order to identify their diet and hunting methods. At a length of up to 60 feet long, the Megalodon has been recorded as the largest known shark to ever have existed. Original estimates of this massive beast were assumed to be around 90 to 100 foot. Due to limited technology and a lack of understanding regarding the animal's jaw structure and dental construction at the time, which led to larger than realistic features that were later debunked as more information became available. Although evolutionary changes have occurred throughout the history of the Megalodon's existence, many of their characteristics remain similar, even when compared to modern sharks. This means that if you are able to observe a Megalodon from prehistoric times, you'd be able to easily identify this animal as a shark rather than mistake it for another type of predator. The Megalodon would have consumed fish, sea turtles, large whales, among other ocean life and marine mammals. Unlike today's sharks, the Megalodon's large size and power made it the apex predator of its time, and allowed it to hunt pretty much anything and everything it wanted in the ocean. Adult Megalodons were known to hunt some of the world's largest oceanic prey, 
and while young baby sharks may have not been able to consume some of the larger prey their parents ate, they still hunted other large animals such as dugons which proved to be slower, and less agile than other large whales their parents hunted. In fact it's quite possible that baby megalodon hunted in coastal waters, as it provided them with plenty of smaller prey to hunt while the adults hunted further offshore where they could hunt for larger animals. When it comes to hunting methods megalodon used to capture its prey, it's believed that it may have used similar methods of tearing its prey apart as the modern great white shark. However, its hunting methods were more diverse than the great white. This often involves taking a large bite onto its prey with its large serrated teeth, and viciously shaking its head from side to side in order to tear the flesh and bone off its prey. The specifically designed teeth combined with the constant pulling and shaking of the shark's head made this predator an extremely dangerous foe in the water. These massive animals were also capable of tremendous bite strength, and bite test performance by researchers estimated this animal had a bite force of 24,000 to 41,000 pounds, making it extremely effective and deadly as an ocean predator. In addition to the megalodon's powerful bite, this beast was able to use its size and weight to overpower its prey and cause serious damage. When it comes to attacking their prey, some of the hunting methods these large beasts use to capture their food may include biting and thrashing, striking their prey extremely hard from the side or bottom to injure it possibly breaking the animal's back, attacking the tail and flippers to prevent their prey from being able to swim or escape, swimming beneath their prey to ambush it by surprise and grabbing the helpless animal with its teeth, and lunging out of the water to immobilize its prey. Theoretically, the megalodon used its bottom jaw and teeth to anchor itself to its prey, while using the top jaw and teeth to repeatedly bite down on the flesh, using its flexible upper jaw to separate the flesh using a raking motion in order to maximize the wound size and damage its prey. As far as how quickly the shark swam, the top speed of the megalodon is unknown. However, researchers think that it reached speeds of at least 20 miles per hour, which helped it keep pace with its prey. In order to maintain its energy, these large sharks may have consumed anywhere from 1,300 to 2,700 pounds of food on a daily basis. While the megalodon was the apex predator of its time, researchers believe that it may have been attacked from time to time by other animals in the ocean that were able to defend themselves and fend off an attack from a megalodon. In fact, there was at least one animal that was known to put up quite a fight when attacked by a megalodon, and this animal is known as the squalodon. The squalodon is an extinct species of tooth whale that existed during the same period of the megalodon. These prehistoric whales were extremely intelligent, and were believed to have lived and hunted in pods, which not only provided them with better opportunities to capture prey, but also gave them an advantage when being attacked by a megalodon, or other large predatory animal. What the squalodon lacked in size, it made up for in numbers. In addition to traveling in groups, squalodons also possessed long beaks with triangular serrated teeth that were designed for biting and tearing. This allowed the tooth whale to not only be able to consume a wide range of foods, but also defend itself if necessary. When a megalodon attempted to attack a squalodon, it's believed that others moved in to attack the megalodon and wound it, rendering the large shark defenseless. The megalodon may have successfully attacked and killed a squalodon, but not without being injured itself. Over the course of millions of years, sharks have changed dramatically in terms of size, and in some ways in terms of the foods they consume. Unlike prehistoric sharks such as the megalodon, today's predators aren't known for hunting large whales, dugons or giant sea turtles. Instead, they're known for consuming smaller fish as the primary bulk of their diet. However, some sharks may also attack sea lions and seals. Part of the reason sharks may have lost some of their size has to do with evolutionary changes that makes it easier for sharks to consume smaller quantities of food, which makes it easier for them to survive without having to face food shortages. Megalodon needed to maintain a pretty hefty diet in order to maintain its massive body. Therefore, it needed a diet that included large fish, whales and other animals. Many of the sharks that exist today, however, are able to thrive by consuming much smaller food and at lower quantities than their prehistoric relatives. Being smaller provides sharks with several advantages, such as being able to maintain their food supply more easily, facing less competition for food, which allows them to give birth to large numbers of babies without diminishing their own supply of prey, and being able to adapt to better climate changes and other environmental factors. In fact, two of the most common theories related to why Megalodon became extinct has to do with food shortages and changes in the Earth's climate. There have been numerous eyewitness accounts of huge sharks throughout history, and also various illustrations of gigantic washed-up sharks. 
One photograph in particular which stirred up a lot of controversy was an image that was presented in a Discovery Channel documentary, showing the dorsal and tail fins of a shark next to a submarine, spanning a whopping 64 foot. The image was fabricated. The documentary was in fact a mockumentary, which was stated in a very small disclaimer at the end. Another idea that sometimes crops up is that Megalodon could be hiding in really deep oceans, but this is probably not true. Fossil evidence from Megalodon suggests they preferred shallower, warmer waters, and would have inhabited areas rife with prey needed to sustain their populations. They also used coastal areas as nursing grounds. Furthermore, it's thought one of the factors that may have contributed to their extinction was the migration of their prey to colder waters, restricting the prey available to them. They were not adapted to life deep in the oceans. So that was the Megalodon, one of the deadliest predators to have existed. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more countdown videos.